Yeah! Hey kids, today we're drawing something very, very cute. They can't walk, but they can crawl. They can't talk, but they can still make a lot of noise. It's a baby. Find a piece of paper and a pencil and let's go. First, we'll draw our baby's head and face. Draw a big round circle like this. Inside the head, add two circles for eyes. Inside each eye, we'll add another smaller circle for pupils. Between the baby's eyes, draw a small curved line, like a little hill, for the nose. Beneath the nose, we'll add the mouth. Our baby is excited to see us, so let's draw a sideways capital D to show its happy smile. In the bottom right corner of the mouth, add a short curved line, like the letter C, for the baby's tongue, but no teeth. Below the baby's eyes, add two small horizontal ovals for cheeks. Finally, add a little circle underneath the baby's mouth for a cute dimple. That's one smiley baby. Excellent work. Babies like to hear what's going on around them, so let's give our baby some ears. On both sides of the circle, add two small half circles. Draw another smaller half circle inside each ear. Now we can sing our baby to sleep and read them bedtime stories. Babies come in all shapes and sizes. Some babies have lots of hair, while others don't have any hair at all yet. Let's give our baby a nice head of hair. Starting from the left side of the baby's head, draw fluffy curls that look like a cloud. Then, add two pigtails on top of your baby's head, like this. At the bottom of the curls, we'll add some elastic bands. These have a lawn oval shape. Draw two elastic bands on top of each other. Perfect! Now that our baby's head and hair are ready, we need to add its body. At the bottom of the baby's head, Draw a lawn rectangle to make your baby's arms. Next, we need to make your baby's tummy. Draw two curved lines coming down from the center of the rectangle, like this. Great! Now, draw another rectangle that is the same length as the first. Your baby's body should look kind of like a s'more with a yummy marshmallow inside. We're not done yet! Your baby needs feet. At the end of its legs, add an oval shape like a bean for the baby's feet. At the top of each foot, we'll draw a tiny little half circle for the tip of its socks. At the top of the baby's body, just below their chin, let's add a collar by drawing two half circles side by side. At the end of each arm, add a long, thin oval for shirt cuffs. Your baby needs hands. Starting from the bottom of the shirt cuff, draw a half circle. Before you close the circle, add a little hill shape at the top of the hand for thumbs. Two thumbs up, you guys. It looks like someone still needs a little color. Beautiful work, kids. Why not draw some more babies for this little guy to play with? You can experiment with colors, hair, and clothes to make each baby unique. We'll use the following colors. Light brown, brown, black, Whoa. pink, blue, and dark blue. Use the light brown color to fill in the baby's head. ears, and hands.
Then, let's use the brown color to shade the inside of our baby's ears and their cheeks, nose, and dimple. Use black to color in the baby's hair. Pupils and mouth. For the tongue, we'll use the pink color. Use blue to color in the baby's clothes. and the elastic bands in their hair. Lastly, take the dark blue color to fill in the shirt cuffs. Babies are all different, and each baby has its own skin tone, eye color, and hair color, just like you and me. You can be creative here and choose your own colors, or follow along with the colors we use. It's up to you. Thanks for watching and drawing along with us. Parents, your child did great. We'd love it if you'd share their artwork with us on social media for a chance to be featured on our channels. There's nothing better than seeing the art made by our Lingo Kids families around the world. Just tag us. See you next time. more songs and activities on our YouTube channels, and more play learning fun in the Lingo Kids app.